Hi friends, this is, we are going to understand how uh, FTTH ONT can be configured. This service is being provided by BSNL and it is a very high speed broadband service which is also called fiber to the home. It has a special type of equipment which is called ONT or optical network terminator. Uh, you can see this uh, it has uh, four ethernet ports two electrical ports and one rf port okay and its model number is aont 100 it has six lights one of them is power should be on second is test third is fiber that is fiber connectivity should be stable third is tv uh, fourth one is tv if you are already uh, using TV service or a DTA service on this service, you can uh, see that it should be uh, also stable. Fifth one is data service for high speed broadband. And if you are also having telephone service on this, then the phone service will also be uh, up over there. This service is being provided only by BSNL right now. So for configurations coming to the computer connect it with a LAN cable and uh, type a router address that is 192.168.1.251 by default it has uh, 1.251 uh, normally the ADSL routers or broadband modems have the IP address 192.168.1.1 but it has 192.168.1.251 so here is the username and password username by default is root r o o t root and the password is admin in small letters this is how the home page will look like device info status when status second one is network third is advanced and fourth is maintain so um, coming to the next option that is network option and uh, we will go to the when settings you can see here the status of WAN is connecting only and IP addresses are 00, zero. so it is not connected right now coming to the network and this is how the LAN options you can see you can also change its uh, IP address from 251 to 1 1.1 mask is 252, 255, 255, 255, 0 DSCP is enabled and okay then in the van setting for making a pbboe connections select pppoe pp over ethernet now coming to the username it will be provided by your isp that is bsnl and password it is by default password that means spelling of password in a small letter just apply and refresh all the addresses will be obtained automatically once you will apply the settings and refresh it data blinking will become stable and your data connection will be established now you can surf your data so see how it is it has become stable for telephone services uh, it will be configured from your isp side you need not to do nothing at your uh, uh, customer side you just use your telephone or you can also use dts service over this uh, ftts connection for that a rf connection is provided behind the ont you can connect a coaxial cable to your television and uh, with the help of uh, a setup box like device that is called IPTV 
means internet protocol television and you can you enjoy your television broadband and telephone on one device and uh, one more thing uh, that is important about this that uh, this device comes with UPS means if power goes your telephone and your internet will be live without any tension because it has a good backup of power